Don't be suspicious. 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 All right, we're back. We're finally back out here. Um, it has been a long time coming, guys. I've really missed this. Uh, but, ow. <laughs> But I'm out here to work and um, it is a really crappy day outside, kind of rainy and ugly, but whatever. Perfect day to be in a hangar. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so part of the problem with being away for as long as I've been away is that you come back to a, a shop where you, know, you left everything and you tried to make it obvious what you were doing and it ain't obvious. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, one of the things I do is I mark on the sheets, uh, the steps that I'm working on, so you can see that, hey, you know, uh, this step is slashed out, which means I've already done it. Typically, what I mean I do is I put a single slash if you only have to do it one time, or I put a slash in and then another slash if it's a double part, so like two wings, like you've got to do the same step twice. That's just what I do. Um, and it says here, got to remove those side skins, which I have already done. And the next part is putting the rudder pedal jig in place and doing a bunch of drilling. And I went over and I looked at it and I can see those holes have not been done. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. All right, so where I am on this now is I've got the rudder pedal jig. It's going to go here on this Laundron and... Uh, you can see it's got the whole four holes here and it's got these other holes and I think it goes this way. I think this is just the jig for um, doing this work. I don't think you actually use this in the end, but I, I, th I think this is literally just for aligning these holes, but I could be wrong. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I've already got one of the holes drilled for this Laundron into this, um, there's a brace under here, kind of like a, a curved brace under here. I've, and it's got four holes. I've only got one of those holes. If you look at the plans, all the pictures in the plans kind of show the holes have already been drilled. Um, I don't, I went back and I looked and I didn't see where I had missed a step of drilling those holes. So I think it's just showing what they'll look like eventually. But that means like up here, which was painful, I have to drill from the bottom up enter 90 degree. So I'm gonna put that on my drill. I'm gonna drill up through these four holes and then I'm gonna put this sucker on. And <clears throat> I think the next step is to drill these various holes along the top of this laundron. So that's what I will be doing here shortly. Well, now basically. <laughs> All right, so let's swap this sucker out. I cannot talk enough good things about getting one of these 90 degree angles. These are great. Uh, this is a tw number 12 bit that comes on here. Uh, the threading on the bottom of this, you can see this one's a little worn, is just a screw that you can put on there. And I'm told you can get lots of these. Uh, I wasn't sure before if I had to get like buy a whole new kit or if I could get uh, a bunch of these off of, you know, aircraft spruce or someplace else you can get lots of them. The other thing I did, <coughs> got the Corona. The other thing I did is I put, um, this on here, as you saw, I went ahead and I drilled using this 90 degree, the most uh, aft hole. And then I used a number 12 Clico. I have 10 number 12 Clicos is all I ever got. And I've got 10 of whatever this size is. And I don't know what size this is. It's slightly smaller. Um, meh. So, I, and I think this might be a 19 or something, but I never use it ever. Um, so the 12s are the, the ones that you definitely need, but I put, I did this one and now this piece is stout. It's in here cause it's got three clicos over here and one click over here. So now I'm going to do the rest of these holes, knock these suckers out. You want to go slow. You don't want to jam it down in there. You want, cause that could cause torquing, especially with this. So you just want to go nice and slow. Uh, I'm, I'm this varying the speed on the drill as I go, and then I'm varying the pressure as well because I don't want it to burst through and because that would cause it to grab and yank it one way or the other. So just take your time. There we go. So you saw that. I took off this part, and now I'm looking at it, and I'm going to deburr the pieces. Now, fun fact, um, 
This tool is tall. Uh, again, it's going to be difficult to get in there. And it just so happens that the thread on my deburring tool happens to be the same thread as the thread on this, which means I can deburr with this. Now you don't want to deburr at full speed. That would be a terrible idea. So this is just a matter of getting a couple revolutions. Just a couple, light, no big deal. Ooh, that one, that one's gonna be tricky to get to. Uh, that's not bad. There we go. So there you go. And now we do the underside. And again, makes life easier. I love it when a plan comes together. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. And I will have to take this part off and do the other deburring. Now you could easily say, hey, you're gonna have to disassemble hold this thing, why don't you deburr it later? Uh, I try to deburr in place. I'm going to do uh, more deburring later. Like I said, I will have to pull all this off, do the final deburring. Uh, and that's when you do any of the major priming or any of the other stuff that you're gonna do, uh, which I'm not going to do. But I like to do some major deburring just to kick the rocks off in the beginning and then uh, I'll do more deburring later, and that way you kind of give it a double pass, and hopefully I won't miss anything. So anyways, so that's that. That's done, and now I need to jump to the other side. First, I'm going to mark it off on the page that I did one side with that slash, jump to the other side, and do it all again. And there we go. We can cross this one out. And that one too, since I did both already. So now we're on to three. Unclico the 40 and 41 upper fuselage channels. That's these right here. Um, clear out the chips and put them in place. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're gonna be full of chips. So let me go do that now. So while that guy's in the back working on uh, all the things, deburring, exciting. Uh, I thought I would talk a little bit about what I mentioned in a previous video, uh, not the law enforcement thing, but rather uh, paragliding and uh, paramotoring. I really like I really like the idea. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but then I've also wanted to fly, you know, in my own airplane for a very long time. And the more I think about it, I still love the idea. I still want to do it. A lot of you, some of you were very positive about it. Some of you were very negative about it. I go back and forth and really it's not about fear. It's not about time. It's about money. Um, it's not cheap, you know? I mean, well, actually in the grand scheme of things, it's incredibly cheap, but if I spend, and I'm just going to make up a number here, $10,000 on, uh, training, which I would absolutely do and recommend uh, a, a motor, newer used, a wing, whatever. Um, that's $10,000 that I'm not able to spend on this project. And so I still have to figure out how to afford the Lycoming engine that I'm going to get. And so ultimately, I think it makes more sense, even though I really want to do it, it makes more sense to not get into paramotoring. Um, it sucks because, I mean, I think it would be a hell of a lot of fun. I, I certainly would enjoy tooling around in the sky. But the other thing as I was looking in my area, the number of days that I would actually be able to fly um, is maybe once a month. And that's just due to how windy it is. It's always windy here. It's, there's always a pretty good, pretty good wind. Uh, plus, if you combine the, the days that you won't be able to fly and then my horrible work schedule, um, I just, I would buy all that equipment and have all that training and then never use it. So in the grand scheme of, I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm actually considering all, all the reality of it as opposed to making that splurge purchase and I'm deciding to forego it for now. So uh, thank you guys for all the feedback. A lot of you, like I said, were very positive. A lot of you were like, yeah, do it, it's awesome. And some of you were like, no, 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 it's dangerous. But I mean, it can't be any more dangerous than anything else I do. So. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I, I think I'll do it. I'll, I'll put, I'll put that one aside and kick it for down the road. Um, <clears throat> there was another question. A couple people actually brought this up. They thought because I haven't been out here in a while that maybe I want to sell this project. 
Um, and I've said this before, I mean, money talks. If somebody offers me the right amount, I'll happily sell it. But um, I would rather finish it. You know, I'd rather have the final product. And even if I never take off with it, which I will, but even if I never take off with it, having a finished plane is going to be worth more than what I have now. So, um, no, this this whole not coming out here thing was totally due to the virus that shall not be named. Um, <laughs> but I... I really would like to finish it. It's just a long-term project. So anyways, there you go. All right, so I've got everything back in place and cleared off the chips, used a file on that steel parts to get some of the gross uh, deburring off of there. And now I have to match drill number 30, the holes in the lower flange of the 40 uh, L and R fuselage channels to the two um, upper firewall brackets. So this sucks. So what I'm doing is basically these holes, it's actually, I think these first four under here inside, there's this white metal, this steel, you can kind of see it over there that is butted up against the bottom of the flange of this part. This is the steel that I burned up like four or five drill bits going through to get, um, the first time. So now I have to do it again. And now I have to do it with my 90 degree angle because there's just no good way to do it. Even if I pulled this off, it would be a challenge to get my whole drill right here. Unless I used a really long drill bit. I do have two really long drill bits. They're very expensive. So I'd rather use uh, the cheaper 90 degree bits that I can get online. But there's five holes per side that I have to drill and that's going to take a while and that hasn't even started doing the lower ones. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on those five holes and then those five holes and hopefully we'll get this done without destroying any drill bits. Okay, I don't know what this drill bit is made of, but it punched through this steel like butter. I mean, just literally just went right through it. And, and I was like, holy crap, I might do the rest of the plane with this. Just buy some more of these dang things, because damn. Um, definitely invest in that. And I'll try to figure out what this is, because it, it went right through that steel like nobody's business. The, the good drill bits that I had up here, which I thought were good drill bits, you know, it was wearing them out, dulling them down. They're getting to the point where they're just kind of going around in circles, causing friction, heat, you know, burning their way through, not actually cutting this cut. One problem I'm having, so there's nine holes, I think I said five before, there's nine holes underneath here, and there's one hole right here in the corner that I don't know how I'm gonna get. Um, Cause this, this is here in the way. So I might have to, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at this and see if I'm allowed to cut this little bit or if I just need to figure out, I do have that, I do have the one long or two long drill bits that I can use from like down here and just kind of bend it up in there. And I may have to go that route, but I know it will tear those drill bits up. So uh, hmm, what do you do? I mean, you got to put the hole in there. It's got to be there. So, uh, but that's, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, that do that. So anyways, now I got to go, I got to solve this problem. Then I got to do the other side. It actually says in the plans, note, it is, ex it is acceptable to trim the flange of the D and M side angles. So it is actually acceptable to trim just a little notch off of there in order to get access to uh, drill that hole. I'm gonna look real hard to see if I need to do that. Um, if, if I can't get it with the really long drill bit, which is over there, if I can't do it with that, I may have to trim that. I, I don't want to, because I mean, the more things you trim off, the more structure you're kind of weakening, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can do that without trimming it. But they thought they realized it when they put it in the plans. So that's good. All right, full disclosure time. Um, I did end up having to dremel away a little bit of this flange in order to get this sucker up in there. Uh, it was not much, but in order to get that hole, um, which is right there, I just had to cut a little piece of white. Again, the plans say it's permissible. I went, didn't go very deep. Uh, it looks about half of the flange and I only went down about in two inches. So hopefully that will not be catastrophic down the road. Um, and I'm going to see if I, if I don't have to do it on the other side, I won't, but I'm pretty sure I will. So I'll do the same thing either way. Either way though, all those holes are now 
drilled. So, yay. Well, crap. So I might have just messed up my 90 degree angle. Um, right at the very end there while I was working, it just it slid off the table and it fell on my foot actually, but it, it kind of dunked down and now it, it's got, kind of hear that chunky turn when you turn it. it uh, it's not as smooth as it was previously. It was perfectly smooth and now you can kind of feel, it might be a gearing issue. It looks like there might be a slight bend. I bent it. I managed to bend it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, you can hear that. That's not good. Urgh. Oops. All right. Well, I'm probably going to have to buy a new one of these. Although it still works. I mean, it will still turn. Maybe if I put some WD-40 or in there, or it'll help a little that's that's upsetting uh, take care of your tools don't let them fall oh well. all right so I've done all of these up here so through this through this part here which is part of the firewall forward through this part and then through the white steel underneath. That's all done now, both top and bottom. Now we have to do the same thing down here. And again, it's like nine holes on top. I've already done these holes. Uh, those are just match drilling, whereas with, with the top holes, you're actually creating the hole. There is no uh, hole already in the steel. So I've got to do that. And then I've got to lift this whole thing up you know, set it up high and drill from underneath because it's just like this one, there's nine on the bottom. So there's nine down here, I gotta do that too. Once that's done on both sides, do this last couple of drill holes across this um, floor plate that's in here, and then that's it. We're gonna disassemble the whole thing and we're gonna be begin deburring everything. And then again, that's like I said before, that's when you would do your uh, priming if you're going to prime. And I talked other, uh, before about priming, whether or not you should, I'm not going to, it's up to you. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna work on that, get all this done so that in the next video, uh, we move on to the next part. So anyways, guys, I'm so glad to be back out here. Um, there's obviously still a ton to do. What I'm really looking forward to though is when I can match up the empennage and the fuselage and have one long plane. That'll be amazing. Um, I am still looking for wiring harnesses. Um, reaching out to a number of different people. This, this wire that I have on my wings is absolutely the wrong wire. It's not gonna work just due to amperage. Uh, the wire is way too small uh, based on what the wing tips are gonna be. So I've kind of been delaying getting the actual wire I need, but that's gonna happen here soon. So I'm gonna do all that. And then I'm gonna finish my damn wings. Um, I know I've been saying that for like three years, but uh, going to finish the wings and actually close them up so that they are completely done. I'm just, I'm waiting to get the right wire purchases. Several of you have reached out to me and offered to help me with wiring because I've said before that the whole electronics thing is kind of my, eh, I don't really know. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I have reached a couple of you and talked to a few of you about what I should be getting. So thank you for that. Um, I know a bunch of you have asked questions about things during the during the shutdown, and I have not answered any of them in this in this video. I promise I will get to those. Uh, I'm just trying to parse everything and sort everything out. There's a lot. So, anyways, thank you all very much. I really appreciate you for like what I'm doing on this channel. If you do me a favor and hit that thumbs and like button and comment down below, it helps the metrics and helps helps bump the channel a little bit. And if you really like what I'm doing, if you jump over to my patron page for just a dollar a month, you can help support this channel. It really helps and goes a long way. Thank you all a bunch, guys. I'll see you in the next video very soon. I promise.